Good morning, Jeff Shepherds and Chatzillas. I'm still working on this job in your name for you guys. It's almost nine o'clock, and today is the day of Lincoln Comic Con. Uh, I've been to a few conventions in the past. I've talked about Lucky Con, which I've been to a few times, and then Cleethorpe's Comic Con. And I thought I'd show you what it's like a day in the life of me in the convention and showing you the fun stuff I get up to. So, yeah. I'm going to go put my glasses on and pee. You gotta start an early con day, right? So we're gonna read Star Wars cereal. Yeah. I've eaten my Star Wars cereal and it's time to get cosplayed up. Let's do this. Right, suited up. I've got my trench coat. I'm gonna find out where we're leaving so I can get my makeup and my wig sorted. So yay. It's not the full convention experience without a slightly regrettable itchy wig. Do I look like Gaziel yet? Yes, no, maybe. Just need to do my five o'clock shadow in a bit with... This shit that I just dropped on the floor. Yeah. This. And then I'll be full Castiel. Just blind Castiel. Because you're blurry if I do this. And done. You can kind of see what I've done with my face. Got my wig trimmed because this side was a bit weird. Got the costume done. Already my angel blade isn't allowed because health and safety reasons. But we're leaving in like five. So it's going to be good. My cosplay wasn't early enough, so I've got Chewy on my feet. And now no, the con squads are, are terrible. talking about like wedgies and listening to my chemical romance. We found somewhere <laughs> to, <laughs> to park, and now we are awkwardly walking through the street. This is fun. There is a massive main Here goes the tea towels. There goes the t-shirt. Help. There are a hell of a lot of people here. Let's uh, get around. It's quite loud. And I haven't found everyone else yet. Bonjour, peeps. I would have talked to you while I was in there, but there were a lot of people that were very hot. And I spent far too much money on American peeps, but I will show you when I get back. But it's about done. It's time to go. I bought an FBI badge to add to my cosplay. I didn't wear the contest because everyone was freaking awesome. I'm going to go because I can't really breathe. Hello, I am back home. The wig has come off because that thing was itchy and my head is sweating like hell but it was $5 off eBay with free shipping, so I didn't expect much when I bought it. Cons over, it was really, really good. I would have filmed more bits, but it was extremely hot and a lot of people in a rather small amount of space, but I shall recap now. I bought a bunch of stuff, not as much as I usually buy. A lot of it was sweets because there were American sweet stores, and I managed to spend £29.55 just on mostly sweets and some other random bits. I'm trying to find something in here, I have a pen. I want a pen. That was nice. But it was, it was really good. There were some people from my school who turned up for little bits, so I chatted with them. There were quite a few people I'd met at LuckyCon um, who were there, a couple in the same cosplays they've done. Um, and it was really good. I'm going to show you the stuff I bought. I want to try and find the other thing, because uh, overall, this costume has 11 pockets. So if I put something in a pocket, it might never ever come back. So it's been a really good day. I shall show you what I have bought. Now, number one, I have this FBI badge with Castiel on it, which became part of my cosplay. Um, my friend Abby, Abel, whatever you want to call her, pointed out that the store was selling them, so I got one. Bought some Jolly Ranch chews and then ate them all. So that was nice. Uh, I then bought some more Jolly Ranch chews, which I haven't eaten yet. Going through more American stuff, I got more Jolly Ranchers and uh, Jolly Ranchers bar because since Hat Films get sent a thousand of them every other day, I was like, I should try this. I also got some toxic waste sludge, some Laffy Taffy because I really love Laffy Taffy, and some more heads. That was my American sweets. I also got some mochi, uh, grape and strawberry. This is what it should look like, rather than the brick mess me and Taylor made. Look, it's nice and squidgy, and I'm going to eat that later and be really happy. And some Pocky, because why not? Yay, Pocky. I also, when buying things, like I said, I didn't buy much, because I spent all my money on American and Japanese sweets. 
But I bought this, I bought a badge, which I can't seem to find right now, but it's got the Hearthstone logo on it, and that was pretty cool. And I also bought this, which I shall show you now from this little purple bag. I bought, this cost me £10, it's a Deadpool pocket watch, which is pretty freaking fantastic. But there were pop figures and retro games and t-shirts and all sorts, but I spent a lot of money on sweets. So, that didn't do me very well. However, I also met someone who I met on Instagram originally, who does a really good Ridge Dog cosplay. And I walked into one of the rooms where this convention was happening, trying to get away from the masses of people because it was extremely hot, and saw this Ridge Dog cosplayer sat at a table and I was like, Oh my god, it's a Yogscast cosplayer! And then I was like, I know that face, you were posting about this this morning and got Brendan to awkwardly talk to him so I could scoot along and we ended up chatting for like an hour and it was really cool. So next time your parents say don't meet up with people that you've met on the internet, tell them the story of how I made a friend because of strange people on the internet. Great advice with Cass. But that was it. The cosplay contest was amazing. There were some really, really good costumes and I wish I could have shown you some of them but it was a lot of bustling about and getting shoved out of the way to get to places. It was good. Uh, the only thing I would say is it needs a bigger venue and a lot more parking because they had 1,700 people say they were going on the Facebook page and there were definitely at least a thousand people in and out over the course of the day and it was quite hot for someone who's wearing four layers of clothes and an itchy wig. So it was great um, and I can't wait till the next convention which might be lucky con some point next year. So. Conventions are good. I'm probably going to have con through tomorrow. I should probably get this off my face because I'm supposed to be in church at like an hour. So, see ya.